Les Tokar, the SSD review. And we just finished building our first M.2 SSD or NGFF form factor uh, test bench. And I wanted to do a quick video because quite frankly, uh, pictures and words alone don't, uh, don't show what we're seeing here. So uh, to start things off, we want to thank InWin uh, for contacting us and asking if they could supply a D-frame limited edition open air chassis, number 149 to 500. Um, it's rather expensive to buy in a store. It's about a $400 system, but if you're making a custom build, this is absolutely amazing because you can, as you see here, what I did with the, with the fan, uh, you could move, you can actually tip this out right up and build it that way. But you can, you can make your build uh, and, and, and put things in exactly how you want. And a perfect example of that happened with the Corsair H100i liquid cooler. Originally, we had it on the bottom right there. I didn't like it, so I moved things around and I put it in the side and I like the way it looks there a lot better. Running through components real quick. Uh, Asics, Asus Maximus 6 Extreme Z87 motherboard. Uh, it has an MPCIe 802.11 AC Wi-Fi combo adopter. Uh, our CPU is an Intel i7 uh, 4770K processor at 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, it's being cooled by Corsair, as I said, H100i uh, liquid CPU cooler. We have Crucial Ballistics, four modules of eight gigabytes each. Crucial, Crucial Ballistics Tactical Tracer LED Memory. Uh, this one here, these here are red and green. There's a number of patterns of lights that you can see. And when there's more going on inside, uh, when you're stressing the memory out, you'll see that the LEDs are a lot more active. But as I have it set up, you'll see that I have a green background and you can't really see it, but with red, uh, with red LEDs. The graphics card right here is the MSI, uh, Radeon HD 7870 Hawk. Uh, over to the left of that, we have a High Point HBA. It has four USB 3.0 ports um, with the new protocol. So each one gets five gigabits um, for a total of 20 gigabits. The power supply is a Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 1000 watt PSU. Uh, and you'll see that I've also included one, two, three, four, five, 120 megabyte, oops, sorry, five 120 millimeter uh, fans. They are also Be Quiet Silent Wing 2 fans and also a 140 millimeter one here. Um, I like the way the flow goes when, when both of the uh, uh, smoke glass are down. This pulls the air in, the air comes down over the CPU. Uh, in the RAM and it gets pushed out here, 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 and here, and here. Okay, over to the left, we also have the uh, Asus OC panel, which is which is new to this uh, this motherboard as well. Corsair as well. I want to thank them because they also supplied a K95 Vengeance keyboard and an M95 Vengeance mouse. And I think that's just about it, except for the fact that we're also running, we can't see it here, a R6300 Netgear AC router, which is, uh, which, is, which is pushing me to, this system here is getting about, I think about 600 on Wi-Fi, about 600 megabits, I believe it is. Whereas the typical end system is bumped up to three, and downstairs on my, my, my on my MBA, I can pull uh, I can pull 850 off the MBA. So uh, considering I have an, uh, we have uh, an open network, I have one, two, three, four, five desktops in here. We've got six, ten desktops in total in the house and about four laptops, and they are all running wirelessly. So uh, having AC transfer speeds is absolutely incredible. Uh, once again, uh, I hope you enjoyed the little uh, show we have here. I uh, absolutely love the colors we're seeing here. Um, my name is Les Tokar, and uh, this is the this is our new our new MPCIe or M.2 test bench for the SSD review. Thank you.